You know, one of the basics of business is knowing your net worth. That is, you take all of your assets, your house, your car, your bank account, anything like that that has value, and you add them up. Then you subtract all your liabilities, your mortgage balance, how much you own your car, your credit card debt, and so forth. And the amount that is left is your financial net worth. And that's important to know. But too many people think their net worth is their value, and it isn't. Or as one of my friends puts it, they confuse their value with their valuables. But value doesn't come from stuff. Value comes from what someone is willing to pay for something. For example, suppose I wanted to sell my truck. Sure, a dealer could tell me the average price paid for that type of truck, but that doesn't necessarily determine its value. Now, you see, if the same make and model of my truck was being sold by, let's say, a famous person, people would be willing to pay more for it. Therefore, it would be more valuable. What someone is willing to pay determines value. And the same is true of you. You are valuable because someone paid a price for you. Jesus died on a cross for your sins. As Paul reminds us in 1 Corinthians 7, 23, you are bought with a price, and the price Jesus paid was his own life. So today, if you feel worthless, just remember, you are valuable because Jesus gave his life for you, and despite what you or others may think, that makes you priceless. I'll see you tomorrow.